in the country. Brought to you by Yamaha. Yamaha is the first name in motorsports. All the good life, hour upon hour, riding in the tractor, working the soil. It's an idea many people simply long for, and one reason small and hobby farmer numbers are rising across the country. But doing the work takes skills. That's where the University of Kentucky's College of Agriculture comes in. As Jeff Franklin tells us, its Farm Start program is lending a hand in teaching tractor basics to beginners. And I'm going to tell you what's the reality of it and what is what you're supposed to do. The teaching tractor basics for beginners was geared toward people with little or no experience in working with tractors or other farming implements. That description fits Sean Burns and his wife Trish Estes. They are sort of backyard farmers with a few chickens and raised vegetable beds. Sean used to be in charge of purchasing food for a couple of large organizations, which meant buying mass quantities of food. Now he says he wants to be an ambassador to drive more people to buy locally produced food. Just normal people kind of breaking through the learning curve and getting involved. So yeah. Definitely it's, it's uh, an art that is getting lost as generations pass. So Absolutely. Being able to use farming principles and things like that I think is very important, now, especially to our generation. Trish, like all the women and men in the workshop who wanted to do so, were able to hop on a tractor learn how to operate it, and take it for a drive around the farm, which was the goal of the workshop. Well, what we were focused on was teaching people the right way to do things, the safe way to do things, why things are designed in certain ways, you know, the three-point hitch, hitch, for instance, how you do it properly, and how you make the tractor a safe tool that allows you to really mechanize your operation, save labor. Sandy Cannon and her husband Chris, which she said are the smallest volume vendors at the Lexington Farmers Market, but they would like to do more one day from a farm they own in nearby Washington County. None of us know enough. There's always so much to learn and just being here on the farm itself, um, it's an incredible operation. And then just actually being able to see all of these different tractors in their different configurations, their different sizes, being able to get on them. The people attending this workshop have little to no farming experience, so it's important to give them a baseline of knowledge, but also it's important to teach them about the safety aspect of being around farm equipment. And really for us, safety is an attitude. It's the way you have to approach every aspect of farming because there's so many ways that you can hurt yourself. But the game becomes, can you think it through before you put yourself in a situation or can you know as you're analyzing each situation you're going into where the possible ways that you can get hurt are. And these are called hitch pins. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting. Thanks, Jeff. Jeff says about a dozen people turned out for the workshop. Considering it was a beautiful weekend, organizers were pleased with the response. We'll be right back with Food and Your Family. <laughs> 